What's your love language? You know, one of our deepest emotional needs is actually to feel loved by the significant people in our life. And, uh, you know, a few years ago, a friend of mine uh, recommended me a book, and that is The Five Love Languages by Dr. Gary Chapman. So I read it, and I found it really, really interesting. All right? It's all about how we communicate love more effectively. All right? So, you know, as I read this one, I realized that, what? What makes me feel love is actually different from other people. You see that? Why? Because we have different love languages. What does it mean? It means to say we have to discover each other's love languages if we want to have a stronger relationship. So you see that? So these five love languages are actually very, very simple. When I read it, they're very simple. Yet they are so effective to improve our connections. They're so effective to improve our relationships, all our relationships. Because mind you, we've got so many relationships, you didn't even realize that. You've got a relationship with your mom, with your dad, with your siblings, with your bro, with your sis, all right? With your, with your children, with your husband and with your wife, with your best friend, all right? So think of this, all these people are different people and they have their own love languages. So no wonder why what works for other people may not work for other people. So you see that? Why? Because they have totally different love languages. What am I trying to say? But, you know, they're family. We care about them. We love them. We call them loved ones, isn't it? That's the main reason why we have to do something. We have to work it out. All right? We cannot simply say that, oh, we are not the same. Okay, I better find somebody that's the same with me. No. If you care so much about that person, you got to do something. Okay, so how are we going to do that? So what should we do? Okay, so do you know your own love language? So the first thing to know, to know to do is to know yourself, to discover your own love language. Because if you know your own love language, then at least, all right, you know how to make other people happy, isn't it? All right, and what should you do to make other people happy too? To feel loved. Know and discover your own love language. All right, so I've got like five love languages that I'm going to share with you and I cannot wait to share with you. Number one is words of affirmation. What does it mean, words of affirmation? It means to say, if you are the kind of person who loves to be, uh, you know, who loves compliments, like people would say, you look gorgeous. Wow, I love the way you dress. I love the way you talk. I love, I, I just love everything about you. You look fabulous. And if you love encouragement and all these positive, positive things being told to you, all right, it means to say your love language is words of affirmation okay number two is acts of service so if you are the kind of person who appreciates help from people especially the person you love let's say for example instead of you doing it that person did it like he paid the bills well he washed the dishes he cooked food he cooked dinner or he cleaned the bathroom all right he washed the car see that so when he did this thing instead of you doing it you go home and you realize things are done and you would say wow you feel so loved. It means to say your love language is acts of service. Okay, let's move on to number three. Number three is, um, what's that again? Mm, receiving gifts. All right, receiving gifts. It means to say you're the kind of person who appreciates it when people are giving you gifts, presents. All right, it doesn't, not necessarily expensive as long as that person actually, it's the thought that counts to you. Like they traveled and they actually thought of you and they bought that thing that they thought would make you happy and then they gave it to you and it will surely make you so happy. But if that person forgot it, all right, it will make you so angry also. All right, so it means to say, yeah, so that's it. It means to say that your love language could probably be, what's this again, receiving gifts. Let's move on to number four. Number four is quality time. Quality time, it means to say, you appreciate it when that person is giving his 100% of attention to you. So they're not doing anything else, especially you're having a date, right? Or probably you're having like a trip together. Or probably you're, ha you're having a conversation, like a deep, deep conversation. And when you're doing that one and that person is not doing anything, not thinking of anything, not even playing his phone, is just giving you his full attention. You would appreciate that one so much and you feel so loved. And what one when, when that person did it to you, the, probably your love language is, what is it? Quality time. 
And the number five is physical touch. If you are the kind of person who appreciates being touched, you know, when they touch your hand, as long as you're being touched, you love it so much. You're being hugged. You're being caressed. You're being kissed. All right? If you love this one so much, you appreciate it so much, then probably this is your love language. So what I'm trying to say here is, no wonder why people are different. What makes me feel love is actually will not will not make other people feel loved. All right. So haven't you haven't you realized that actually you could you, I, I want you to actually just start thinking about what happened. Like you're doing everything for that person, yet that person doesn't appreciate. Let's say, for example, you're giving gifts because you have some money. You bought a lot of gifts and you gave it to that person, but that person isn't happy. Still not very happy. Why? Because his love language is different from you. Probably that person's love language is quality time and you're not giving your quality time to her. You see that? So that's what I'm trying to say. Or let's say, for example, um, you are praising that person so much like, oh, you look awesome. You look beautiful, but you never touch her. That person will never feel love if you don't touch her. You see that? If you don't hug that person. All right. So something like that. Haven't you noticed when you notice people hugging you a lot, touching you a lot? That person's love language could be physical touch. When that person is always saying you, praising you, give that back to that person. That person's love language could be words of affirmation. You see that? So what I'm trying to say here is we are just like cups full of love. All right? So when we are giving love to other people, we are actually emptying our mugs or emptying our cups. But every time when we have given this to other people, it's empty. Now that it's empty, what do we need? We also need other people to feel it. All right? So when you, they do your love language, it means to say you feel loved and it's going to be full again. Now you're, you're ready to love again. Isn't it that when this thing is empty, you feel grumpy, grumpy that you don't understand. But when this thing is full, you are as happy and always ready to give love to other people. Isn't it? Okay, so yeah. So this five things very simple five things if you're going to do them now it will surely improve your relationship with other people i have shared this one to a lot of people i know especially to my students in china even friends in china and they actually love it they try to do it because everybody's got a problem with the relationship so oh, what should i do what should i do learn from the best dr gary chapman you see that and so we're learning from him let's share it to other people it will save relationships so for me like i know you have your own uh, love language. For me, my love language is actually, you, you know, you can have one, you can also have two or even three. So you just try to notice yourself, what you love to do. So I myself, I have like two, two. And the first one is words of affirmation. Like for me, I love to appreciate people. I like to talk about good things about other people. I like to write things, even in a small, small, small note and give it to other people. I just want that person to make happy. I realized that that's also my love language. Whatever you love to do is actually something that you want other people to do to you. So you see that? So sometimes when people don't do it to me, I feel grumpy. You see that? So, but anyway, just do it anyway. Okay? And then the second love language of mine is quality time. I love it when I'm spending time with uh, drinking coffee with other people, you know, our phones are somewhere, are just in our bag, that we are not playing it. I hate it also when I am chatting with somebody and that person is always on the phone. I just don't like it. All right, it means to say, oh, this person is not giving his full attention to me. I don't feel loved that way. All right, so these are my love languages. What about you? What's your love language? Words of affirmation? Acts of service? What else? Receiving gifts, quality time, or physical touch. Now discover yours. Try to look at what you do all the time. And then, now you know your own love language. If you are confused of your own love language, do the test. Search Gary, uh, Gary Chapman's five love languages. And there's some kind of a test that you're going to do there. And you'll know. You'll know yourself. All right? And discover also other people's love language. That way, we know how to deal with them. We know how to communicate with them and we know how to make them feel love so they could be more effective in doing, you know, uh, in doing whatever they need to do. All right. So, well, that's it. And thank you so much for listening. It's a long video, but thank you. You stayed and listened until the end. Uh, have a great Sunday, everyone.